good day. These are the sample questions for the eight topic under aquaculture. Fish nutrition. One, what is the best time to feed fish? A, 7 a.m. B, 8 a.m. C, 9 a.m. D, any time. The answer is A, 7 a.m. Feeding fish early in the morning like time before the sun rises or the sun has just risen is not the best time because the DL level in the pond is still low. In this regard, the fish usually has low appetite during low DO condition. 2. What is the most abundant and cheapest source of energy in aquaculture? A. Protein B. Lipids C. Minerals D. Carbohydrates The answer is D. Carbohydrates According to FAO, Carbohydrates are the cheapest and most abundant source of energy for animals. 3. Stocking more than one species in a given culture environment. A. Aquaculture B. Single culture C. Polyculture D. Multitrophic culture. The answer is C. Polyculture. Polyculture is the practice of culturing more than species of fish in the same pond. This was done to maximize the total production per unit area with the proper utilization of available food in a pond. For which is not applicable for polyculture operation. A. Different feeding habit B. Different feed type C. Same feeding habit D. Same feed type E. A and B, F, C and D. The answer is F, C and D. Same feeding habit and same feed type. The basic principle of polyculture is that the cultivation of various fish species having different food habits. There should be compatible combination of species with diversified feeding habit that should include surface slash column feeders to bottom feeders, as well as omnivorous to micro-vegetation feeding fish species. Five fish consumed a total of 4,000 bags of feeds at 25 kilograms per bag. The total harvested fish was 50,000 kilograms. What is the FCR? A. 2.0 B. 12.5 C, 0.5 D, 0.08 The answer is A, 2.0 FCR formula FCR equal to total feed consumed over total weight of the product produced. For 1,000 bags multiply by 25 kilograms per bag is equal to 100,000 kilograms of feeds consumed to be divided to the total harvest. 100,000 kilograms over 50,000 kilograms is equal to 2.0. Therefore, the FCR is equal to 2.0. 6. The feeding habits and behavior of the animal wherein the feed is based exclusively on plant materials. A. Herbivores B. Carnivores C. Omnivores D. Detritivores The answer is A. Herbivores Herbivores are animal whose primary food source is plant-based material. These animals have evolved digestive systems capable of handling large amounts of plant material. 7. Which of the following juvenile fish is omnivorous fish? A. Common carp B. Sea bass C. Grouper D. Rainbow trout The answer is A. Common carp Common carp are omnivorous fish with a high tendency towards the consumption of animal food as water insects, larvae of insects, worms, mollusks, and zooplankton and also plant origins such as phytoplankton and macrophytes. 
eight fish eat less when? A. During summer season B. During rainy slash cold season C. All of the above D. None of the above the answer is B. During rainy slash cold season whatever the stages of fish, fish eat less when water temperature is too low like during rainy slash cold season. 9. This is the addition of fish flesh as a result of proper and efficient feed intake. A. Growth B. Mortality C. Survival D. Tissue development. The answer is A. Growth growth is the process of addition of flesh as a result of protein synthesis. The rate of growth varies from species to species and sometimes it varies even among species also. 10 refers to the total weight of the fish samples divided by the number of fish samples. A. Growth B. A B W C. Biomass D. Total yield. The answer is B. A B W. A B W stands for average body weight, which is calculated by dividing the total weight of the fish by the number of fish in the sample. 11. They require lower feeding rate. A. Fry stage B. Fingerling stage C. Grow out stage D. Finisher stage. The answer is D. Finisher stage. The finisher stage has the lower feeding rate requirement since they have lower growth rate. And also, they require less nutrients to grow. 12 fish grow slowly when A. Fry B. Fingerling C. Adult D. Embryo The answer is C. Adult The older the fish, the slower the growth rate of the fish, while the younger the fish, the faster the growth rate, so they required more feeding rate as compared to the older or adult fish. 13. Which of the following is not included? A. Proteins B. Lipids C. Vitamins and minerals D. Carbohydrates E. All of the above F. None of the above The answer is C. Vitamins and minerals All the others that were mentioned belong to the macronutrient group, while vitamins and minerals belong to the micronutrient group. 14. How often should smaller fishes be fed? A. More frequent feeding B. Less feeding frequency C. No changes in the feeding frequency D. Do not feed them at all E. None of the above F. All of the above. The answer is A. More frequent feeding. This is because the smaller the fish, the faster is its metabolic rate, resulting to faster physiological processes, including digestion and gastric evacuation time. 15. Which of the following does not belong to the physical attribute of a good feed? A. The feed must be clean, without fine or dust. B. The pellet should be firm. C. The water stability lasts up to 10 minutes. D. None of the above. E. All of the above. The answer is C. The pellet should last 10 minutes in the water. The water stability should be at least 30 minutes before it is considered a good feed. This will prevent feed wastage. 16. When should feeding be reduced or restricted? A. Before sunrise B. During low water current when fish are stocked at high densities in pens or cages C. During low temperature D. When fish has high appetite. The answer is D. When fish has high appetite. 
Feeding should be reduced when fish has high appetite in feeding. High appetite indicates that the fish is feeling well internally, and they are exposed to good water quality. 17. Why do fish need a feeding schedule or feeding chart? A. This serves as guide to farmers on the daily feeding of stocks. B. This helps determine if the amount of feed will be insufficient and need to order new ones. C. This determines when to feed the fish. D. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. All the above mentioned because feeding chart or feeding schedule serves as a guide to farmers for a successful feeding operation. 18. What should be the feeding frequency for the bigger fish? A. More frequent feeding frequency B. Less frequent feeding frequency C. No changes in feeding frequency D. Do not feed them at all. The answer is B, less frequent feeding frequency. This is because the bigger the fish, the slower is its metabolic rate resulting to slower physiological processes, including digestion and gastric evacuation time. 19. Which of the following affects fish growth and reproduction? A. Temperature B. Feeding management C. Feed quantity and quality D. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. All that was mentioned affects fish growth and reproduction. Each species has their own standard environmental considerations and specific feed requirement. For instance, the standard water temperature for tilapia ranges from 22-29 C. In this range, the fish can achieve optimal growth. A temperature lower than the standard would be lethal for the species. The same goes for other matters. 20. What stage of fish requires a large amount of feed? A. Fry stage B, fingerling stage C, grow out stage D, finisher stage. The answer is D, finisher stage. They require the largest amount of feed as this stage is the stage where their body size is almost at the maximum stage before harvesting. Since the amount of feeds are based on the ABW, stocking density, and feeding rate, the large body size would require larger amount slash volume of daily feed intake. 21. Using what kind of feed can feeding be easily managed? A. Floating feeds B. Sinking feeds C. Semi-sinking feeds D. All of the above. The answer is A. Floating feeds. This is because floating feeds shows how much is consumed and estimates how much is wasted. With this, we can know what to do either lessen or add feed. 22. If at the end of production cycle, a total of 140 kilograms of fish are harvested from the pond and a total of 200 kilograms feed was given to the fish during the production, how much feed was used to produce each kilogram of fish harvested? A. 1.5 kilograms B. 1.4 kilograms C. 1.3 kilograms D. 1.2 kilograms. The answer is B. 1.4 kilograms. FCR is equal to 200 kilograms the total amount of fish during the production over 140 kilograms the fish harvested. FCR is equal to 1.4 kilograms. This means that a total of 1.4 kilograms was used to produce each kilogram of fish. 
23 this is applicable for smaller fish except a larger pellet size b higher cp content c lower feeding rate d faster growth rate e none of the above f all of the above the answer is a larger pellet size simply because larger pellet size is not applicable for smaller fish as it may cause choking 24 proper feed quantity results in a better feed growth b better fcrc higher daily weight gain d all of the above the answer is d all of the above all of the choices mentioned are result of proper feed quantity intake.